Good evening, sword friends. So, got a little comparison video today. Haven't really done one of these in a while, but I'm so impressed with this here BPS Knives Adventurer that I gotta do it. Now, historically, the Buck 119 Special has been my EDC fixed blade. And carried her to work a few days and I'm extremely extremely impressed now I mean they're very similar a little different but let me go through the uh, the pros of the BPS and the buck does have some pros as well but I think the BPS has a couple more so first and foremost is the price the buck 119 special run you about 60 bucks with the leather sheath option the bps knives is 39.99 so 40 dollars two-thirds the price the sheaths i mean the buck sheath is nice where the knife is made in the usa their sheaths though are subcontracted out to mexico so yeah, you're getting a made in the USA knife, but the sheath is made in Mexico. Whereas the sheaths with the BPS knives, the knife itself is made in Ukraine, as is the sheath. Now, this is just a personal preference thing, but I always found that snap closure annoying, and it rattles around in there. Whereas with this one, you can just drop it in there, stay secure. And, yeah, I just prefer this way over that. And as far as deployment options, you only have the one option with the buck. I mean, you could always get a dangler, but that's another added expense. Whereas with the BPS, you got the belt sheath, or the belt loop, and the dangler loop. It also comes with this handy-dandy ferro rod. So, just in case you find yourself in the woods without a lighter, you got that. Now, the buck, it's made out of 425 stainless, or 420 stainless, I believe. One or the other. Which isn't a great steel, but buck's heat treat is tried and tested. And it is a very, very good blade. But, still not ideal in the steel department whereas with the bps it's 1066 high carbon steel so i mean that just it's obvious i'd much rather have a high carbon steel blade than a stainless blade and as far as the uh handles go the buck has this phenolic, which is a fancy type of thermal plastic, I believe, with some, I believe, aluminum pommel and guard, whereas the BPS has a walnut wood handle, and it's also screwed in, so should you want to customize it, take the scales off to clean it, you have that option. With this... You're going to have to like melt it off or shatter it off or something. I don't even know how you'd go about doing that. And just as far as the ergonomics go, like that buck, it's a little fat, kind of uncomfortable in the hand. Like you get used to it after a while, but it it's a little chunky. Whereas the BPS is arguably... A much better size it does have that little swell there to keep it in your hand not quite as accentuated as the uh, box but does the job nonetheless you also have the option of attaching a lanyard to the BPS and I mean the sharpness levels, I mean, this buck was laser beam sharp out of the box, but it was a little toothy, whereas 
the BPS was fucking super King Kong mega laser beam sharp out of the box. Easily the sharpest fixed blade I've ever gotten out of the box. Like, without a question. Even sharper than those Topps Frog Market Specials. I mean, just like jaw-dropping levels of sharpness. Now, the buck does have a couple pros. You can see you got a little bit more about a... Between a quarter and a half inch longer cutting edge. The steel stock is a little bit thicker on the buck. It has the guard, which, I mean, that's similar amounts of protection, but if you had to, like, plunge it into somebody on a moment's notice, I think I'd rather do that with the buck than with the BPS. And, I mean, I'm an American, so I would really want to go with the American knife. Like, this blade has been in production for over 75 years and there's plenty of guys including myself that swear by it like this has been my EDC fixed blade for a very very long time but I'm not as I'm not opposed to foreign made knives and just the quality and whatnot of this one I've been carrying this one since I got her, basically, and I don't know, man. Being an American, it's, you gotta admit when you've been upstaged, and I think we have been. So, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I mean, if you only had one to choose, which one would you go with? Like, I'm a knife sword addict, so I'm just going to get them all and carry, carry them all at different times or what have you, or maybe even have one on each hip one of these days. Maybe I'll do that at work tomorrow. We'll see. But, yeah, I'm seriously, seriously impressed with this BPS knives. I got my eye on a couple other of their models. I think I'm going to order them once I get to know this one a little better and beat on her a little bit, make sure she holds up, but probably be seeing more from this manufacturer in the future on my channel. So, that's about all I got. Let's take my uh, cheat sheet here and do some push cuts. 90 degree push cuts, not bad. can also do that with the buck though. I mean, a little bit different grind. There's a micro bevel on this BPS where there's a much larger bevel on the buck. But I think the BPS will outcut the buck just due to the thinness of the stock, the width of the blade, and the sharpness level. I mean, the buck is sharp but the BPS is just a little bit sharper. So, there you go. A little comparison between the BPS Adventurer and the Buck Knives 119 Special. So, like I said, let me know in the comments what you think about it. And thank you for watching. Have a good one.